right hello welcome back to another vlog kind of starting this just randomly on a whim it's like 9 30 p.m actually we just finished watching survivor my dad came over to watch with us so that was really fun but um i, I really want to talk about what's going on right now because i feel like i am am stressed and upset about it and i know this is something that so many other parents go through and this can sometimes feel like a taboo subject but i absolutely do not think it should be um but my milk supply has completely dwindled <laughs> my freezer stash is totally depleted which means that tonight is going to be the first night since we were in the hospital that um we're going to be supplementing with formula for grace i know there is absolutely nothing wrong with formula fed is best i would never ever in a million years look down on another parent who uses formula or judge them in any way but when it comes to myself like i just i can't help but feeling like i failed in some way but i know this is something that so many other breastfeeding people go through and i just i feel like this is the kind of stuff that needs to be talked about more because it can feel so isolating and it can make you feel just so down and so disappointed i guess but okay i'm gonna calm down for a second because i didn't think i was gonna cry mm, you got this Okay, I'm better. <laughs> um, I was kind of tripping over my words because I just did not expect to get hit by that wave of emotion. But but I feel like with breastfeeding, there is just so much pressure. And I know for me, like a lot of that is self-imposed, but I, I just can't help but feeling like sad and like I failed in some way. And there are a lot of different things that can cause supply issues in breastfeeding. And one of those things is PCOS. And I have PCOS, so that was something that the lactation consultants we were working with flagged from the very beginning, that milk production is hormonal. And so, you know, PCOS can absolutely affect that. But luckily it hadn't been an issue up until this point. Um, at the beginning, I had a bit of an oversupply. And so whenever I would pump, I would usually get a little bit more than Grace would take a feeding and so we were doing 50 50 pumping and bottle feeding and nursing and so i had built up a, a pretty good freezer stash and then i would say about a month ago my supply dipped a little bit to the point where i was only producing exactly what grace needed which is fine like there was no problems i just i didn't have that oversupply anymore so the last time that i froze milk was the end of august but then the last five days my supply has absolutely tanked like literally I'm, I'm now getting less than half in most of my pumping sessions for what she needs so the first day i wasn't too concerned because you know dips like that happen so we took some out of the freezer stash but then it was another day and another day and another day and this morning we defrosted the last frozen bag of milk that I had. So I've been trying different things to bring my supply up. I'm trying to add in extra pumping sessions. So I'm hopeful that my supply will come back. I'm gonna keep doing all the things that I'm doing, but the fact of the matter is right now, I'm not producing enough for Grace to eat and I need my baby to be fed. I'm gonna keep nursing Grace. I'm gonna keep, you know, pumping as much as I can and we'll use the breast milk that I express as I pump it and we'll supplement with formula as needed. And you know, as hard as it can be and as, as much pressure I put on myself about producing milk for Grace, I am so incredibly grateful for science, for formula, for how amazing it is nowadays and for having access to it for Grace. Mm, buddy. I didn't think we'd run out of milk this fast. Well, it was I'm... literally like four days, five days? Yes, when one thing Right, so we ran out of the freezer stash. Still, most of our milk is breast milk. Yeah. And we'll just kind of top her off with the formula. A little, yeah. little power shake in the, in the mornings, you know? <laughs> we bought formula a couple days after coming home because we didn't know if we were gonna have to supplement again like we did in the hospital, but we never had to use it. So yeah. it's the same formula they gave her in the hospital. So we know at least then it worked well for her. She had no issues, but. Yeah, granted, she's a totally different kid today, yeah. so. <laughs> All right, I just pumped again. Steven just did the dream feed. So I think the plan is for tomorrow morning that we'll do half of the feed with breast milk because I do still have a little bit in the fridge from this pump. And then um, we'll do the second half of what her feed normally is with formula. So we'll try it out, introduce it. Hopefully it goes well, but. All righty, good morning. You have a very tired Steve. <laughs> and I'm about to give them the first bottle of breast milk and then we'll do some formula. This is like the early days when we both used to wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Remember that? Gracie finished her first bottle. Hold on. 
That is formula. Can you say formula? F O R M U L A. All right, we did it. She took it great. I took it great <laughs> emotionally. Who would have known it would have been so easy? As an, uh, uninventful as it could have been. Yeah. Well, I'm going to pump. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to try to get her back down and then we should go back to bed? Yes. Yeah, let me get ready for her real quick. Usually Grace wakes up at like six for this feed, but it's like four right now. So yeah, definitely not just uh, staying up for the day. Good morning part two where it's not four in the morning and actually like the normal morning. <laughs> Grace and I are doing a walk at the park right now. It's about 9.30. I keep picking up the camera and then putting it back down again because this lighting is just <laughs> all over the place. But you know what? We're gonna roll with it. Grace's schedule is gonna be a little bit shifted today because she woke up at 4 a.m. instead of 6 a.m. So then she woke up at 7, like ready to eat, ready to play, when she normally would have uh, already been on like her first nap of the day after that 6 a.m. feed. So I'm just gonna follow her cues and we keep her schedule pretty flexible anyways. But right now she is just a happy little camper in the stroller playing with her book. So we're just gonna walk a few laps around the lake here, enjoy the outdoors. If she falls asleep in her stroller, great. She can nap while we walk. And if not, then I'll just probably try to get her down for a nap when we get home. Today is Thursday and Tuesdays and Thursdays are my combo days where I watch Grace in the morning and afternoon and then around three or four, I do some filming and some work. I think Tuesdays and Thursdays are my favorite days. I really like having both. Some time with my Gracie girl in the morning, some work in the evening. It's gonna be a good day, my friend. And, and she's asleep. All right, hello. It is, what time is it? It's 3.15 now. It was a bit of a rough afternoon. That's why I'm just picking up the camera again now. I was really starting to get overwhelmed, really starting to approach my limit, but thank goodness Grace went down for a nap and I was like, cool, I'll get like 20, 30 minutes to relax and recoup before jumping back in. But now she has been napping for an hour and 15 minutes. So I am thrilled. I feel like I really, really needed that today. And then in 45 minutes, Steven is going to be done with work. He's going to take over with uh, caring for Grace and I'm going to get some work done. So I think <laughs> the stressful part is definitely behind me. So Jess is here right now. She's taking some B-roll upstairs for this week's main channel video. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and join her once Steven finishes up. We have a call with the merch team. We have probably like an hour, hour and a half of filming to do for this week's main channel video. And then a little bit of planning for a sponsorship. So uh, a variety of things on the to-do list for this evening. Thank you so much for the long nap, my friend. <laughs> so I'm gonna take her into the nursery. We'll do a breastfeed. And I'm doing all of my breastfeeds as weighed feedings on the hatch grow scale right now. Just because I know my milk supply is lower than usual, I wanna make sure that with the breastfeeds, she's still getting enough. You know, we know exactly what she gets from a bottle, but unless we weigh the feeding with the scale, like we, we really don't know for breastfeeding. And I'm a big like numbers data person. So I like knowing exactly what she's getting from a breastfeed and we have the, a smart changing table to do it so might as well and her other two breastfeeds today were like perfect exactly what she usually gets so have not needed to supplement yet all right nursing grace went honestly better than i expected it was really easy and relaxing she was very chill and we did you know the wade feeding on the hatch grow which i feel like i didn't really explain before basically i put her down on the changing table before the feed click start a feed it records her weight feed her and then put her back on the changing table and it records the difference between the two weights. So then that difference is, you know, how many ounces of breast milk that she got. And she actually got an ounce more than she normally does at this time of day. So I'm thrilled that has not been, that's not been the way it's been the past like four or five days. So I'm hopeful that maybe we're turning the corner and my milk supply is gonna start coming back up again. But um, Steven's with Grace now in the nursery. It's time for me to start transitioning into work mind, which might be a problem because, oh my gosh, I am... I'm just, I just feel so exhausted. I feel like men mentally drained, really. Like I'm really gonna have to pick up the energy for the main channel filming. Otherwise there's gonna be an obvious uh, shift in my demeanor from the stuff that we filmed yesterday and the stuff that we're filming today. So I'm having my second coffee of the day, which might seem weird drinking out of a red solo cup, but it's not actually a red solo cup. It's just a cup from the musical Be More Chill, but I need to get a little, well, extra caffeinated. I don't usually drink coffee this late in the day. Also, I need to figure out something to do with my hair because it is uh, very Hermione Granger chic right now. Love you. Love you. 
So Jess and I just finished filming a whole bunch of B-roll for the main channel video and then also some sponsored Instagram stories. And I realized right as we were about to like move on to the next thing we're filming, in multiple frames on the sponsored Instagram story, I said to swipe up, but Instagram no longer has swipe ups over the past, I think like two weeks, they've been phasing it out where instead you like click a link on screen. And I knew this and I made a mental note of it before filming and then I just forgot and slipped right back into saying swipe up to check it out because that's what I've been saying for like years. <laughs> so I had to change back into those outfits for those frames and re-say the Instagram story saying click the link instead. The most influencer-y of influencer problems, but nonetheless, it is now fixed. Also, we had our merch meeting and I got some bad news, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty bummed about, but honestly, like it's, it's just the way it is right now with COVID. There are a lot of of COVID related manufacturing delays in so many different sectors, but like the clothing and apparel industry is one of them. And basically if you've been following along with kind of the updates we've been giving about my merch, we were planning on launching a whole new collection in early October, which would include the Perfect Pants 2.0 in longer lengths and in black. And we kind of knew that things weren't moving at the pace that they needed to for the launch to happen when we were planning on it. But um, today we got like the official confirmation that first the Perfect Pants 2.0 are not going to be ready in 2021, which I am very sad to deliver that news. But you know, I want to make the product perfect. I don't want to cut any corners and I would rather wait until spring next year to launch them than put out a product that isn't perfect and isn't as good as it could be. And then the other thing is with the, not only the pants, but the other items in the merch collection we were planning to launch, the only way to get these products out in October, like we were planning on, would be to significantly shorten the size range. Basically, we were gonna have to just do extra small to 2X instead of extra small to 4X or 5X. And to me and the rest of our merch team, that was, you know, pretty much a no brainer that we were like, yeah, we're gonna push the launch back. It's more important to get a more inclusive size range and launch like five to six weeks later than to get the products out faster, but not have as inclusive of a size range. So the Confident and Kind Fall Winter Collection that was originally gonna be launching early October is now likely gonna be launching early November, sans the Perfect Pants 2.0. Those we're still gonna work on, we're still gonna move forward on, but the manufacturer isn't anticipating that they'll be ready until like February or March next year. Kind of a bummer, definitely not the news that I wanted to hear, but that's just the way it is, you know? We're gonna make it work. We're gonna move forward with the plan that we made now. And I would so much rather launch products that I feel like are as good as we can make them in an inclusive size range than rush to get them out and not have those things. Oh, Steven's calling me. Hello. Ooh, um, we do the stir fry with peanut sauce. That sounds really good. Okay, bye. Steven's gonna start dinner, which reminds me that I need to get the rest of the main channel filming done. Time to film some main channel stuff. Also, this lighting is like, if I lean forward, it's like perfect. It's glowing, like the sun is coming through the window. If I lean back a little bit, <laughs> A little too glowy. <laughs> so for the main channel stuff, I just need to remember, lean forward. All right, it is the end of the day, about 11 p.m., so I'm doing one last pump before Grace's dream feed. I feel like my milk supply is definitely higher today than it has been the past four or five days. So today we did seven feeds. Usually on a normal day, Grace would do six, but basically an extra one was added in because she woke up so early. <laughs> um, but of those seven, four were breastfeeds, and I didn't have to supplement for any of the breastfeeds. The scale said she was getting what she was supposed to, and most importantly, she seemed happy and satisfied. Still below the mark for the three pump sessions, which reminds me, I should drink more water. I know hydration is super important for milk supply, and I always drink a lot of water, but I wanna be even more like on top of it right now. So because we supplemented formula with the morning feed, basically that kind of like set us a couple ounces ahead with the breast milk that I had. So even though I was pumping a little bit less, we haven't had to supplement with formula again today, but depending on how much I pump here, I think we'll probably end up doing half and half for both the dream feed and tomorrow morning's feed, which I'm okay with. I honestly feel like 
a huge weight has been lifted off of me. It kind of feels like we ripped the band-aid off and I was so anxious about using formula and now that we've done it, it just, it's one of those things where I realize it's not a big deal at all. I don't want to say it was like silly for me to get upset or there was no reason to get upset because breastfeeding and just feeding your baby in general, it, it can be stressful. It can be scary. It can be this huge weight that you carry around. I think what I would say is I, I realize now in actuality, it's not it's not a big deal. It feels like a big deal. It felt like a big deal last night, but it's not. It's totally fine. And maybe in the next couple days, my milk supply will skyrocket and it'll never be a problem again. Or maybe we'll end up combo feeding like this for the entire first year of Grace's life. I don't know. Or if we ended up switching just to only feeding formula, that would be okay too. So I think that is where I'm going to end today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.